stop your excuses and develop your leadership skills. In addition to giving hundreds of keynote speeches on the subject of leadership over the past uh, 15 years, I have coached many people to become effective leaders. And in my experience, I have heard numerous justifications from various individuals for why they are unable to succeed in leadership positions. They believe that they are academically or technically qualified, but unsuited for working with those in leadership positions. And here, the hardest part in leadership development is dealing with that fundamental belief that they can't do leadership. You know, people making those excuses saying, sorry, I can't be a leader. I'm not gifted with charisma. Uh, I don't have a great communication skills. I am a bit shy and introvert. Uh, I'm not that educated. Now, excuses like this inevitably surface in an effort to undermine one's own natural ability to lead. However, the reality is that if you put your mind to it, you can learn some skills. Additionally, if you have confidence in your capacity for leadership, you will do so. As Henry Ford once said, whether you believe or whether you think you can or you can't, either way, you're right. What I'm here to tell you is that you can learn to become an effective leader because learning leadership is a process of building the right mindset and skill set. The attitudes and abilities that make up leadership would be reflected on your behavior. Depending on the roles you play in an organization, the list of necessary leadership skills can be quite lengthy, quite long. You need skills like communication, persuasion, rapport building, networking, possibility thinking, planning, envisioning, administrating, organizing, strategizing, being charismatic, you know, leading meetings, quick learning, public speaking, presentation skills, innovating, managing change, inspiring people, and coaching and mentoring your followers are just few of these essential basic skills on the list of skills required to be an effective leader. There is no end to learning new skills, but if you master a few key ones and use them in an appropriate situation or roles you play, you can eventually become an expert in these combinatorial skills. Consequently, leaders can be developed. When it comes to abilities, soft skills have surpassed hard skills. Leadership, for example, used to be about hard skills like planning, finance, and business analysis. Today's topic is more about teamwork, communication, collaboration, and motivation. And all these are soft skills. The unfortunate reality is that many executives dislike soft skills. They believe that they are perfect or, or they believe that it is pointless to try to improve themselves. After all, some people even think that self-improvement is for sissies. So this is an example of a very close mindset, which is one of the reasons why people also resist learning and change in the workplace. Whatever is defined as soft skills are actually, think about it, it's, they are human skills. Leadership requires a lot of human skills like people skills, interpersonal effectiveness, building rapport, communicating with people, and there are many, many more skills which can be called soft skills or human skills. Now, human skills can be learned if you have an open mind to learn and question your assumptions and prejudices and a little bit of unlearning. And if you are willing to make some changes, you can learn these skills. It isn't a rocket science. Managers do not manage people in the new management model. They manage things like systems and processes and resources, but not people. Today's knowledge workers are smart individuals who prefer to be inspired rather than led. They want to be on the same page. They want to be inspired by a common vision in order to achieve great things with others. This is where leadership rather than simply monitoring performance becomes a core skill of dealing with people, their emotions, their aspirations, perspectives, and ideas. So if you want to move up the ladder, and if you want to be part of that C-suite, then you must step up and learn the art of influencing and leading people. Remember that people who advance in their careers are better at dealing with other people. And we are seeing teams collaborate, and we see silos falling apart. Leaders are collaborating with other leaders, teams collaborating with other teams. Individual uh, leaders are being replaced by leadership groups. What we need in organization is people creating value together. 
people who understand and respect each other, people who care about others. It's less, less about management and more about leading people. So drop your excuses and step up to leadership. Unleash the leader within you.